الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبی محمد و علیہ و صحبہ وسلم اما با امام بخاری ان ہز بک انٹائٹلڈ اداب مفرد وچ ہیز ٹو ڈو وت دی رائٹس اینڈ مینرز اینڈ رقائق اینڈ ہی انٹائٹلڈ دی چیپٹر کالڈ باب عقوبت عقوق الوالدین عقوق الوالدین سو ہی انٹائٹلڈ دی چیپٹر کالڈ دی چیپٹر اف دی پنشمنٹ for the one who is disobedient to their parents and disobedience or oppression has various means of being carried out for example a parent or a leader can be oppressive meaning they take the rights of others or vice versa being disobedient to your parents or revolting or rebelling against the leader is a, a type of oppression as well. It's a type of oppression and a type of uh, rebellious behavior. So Imam Bukhari entitled this chapter, which was referring to the uh, Walidain, and we'll see what the scholars say in regards to this as far as an explanation. قَالَ حَدَّثَنَا عَبْدُ اللَّهِ بِنْ يَزِيدِ قَالَ حَدَّثَنَا عيينة ابن عبد الرحمن عن أبيه عن أبي بكرة عن نبيه صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ما من ذنب أجدر أن يعجل لصاحبه العقوبة مع ما يدخر له من البغي وقطيعة الرحم So this is collected in this is Bukhari in his book Adab al-Mufrid. In this hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and it's a sahih uh, hadith, he said, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there is not a sin which is more deserving of speeding up the punishment for the one who does it and causing him humiliation than rebellion and severing the ties of kinship and by rebellion we're referring to uh, any type of you know uh, the term baghi meaning it can mean oppressive uh, being oppressive also uh, al bughat are re- uh, rebels in islam they're considered rebels those who revolt against the leader so it also has to do with uh, uh, in fact taking the rights of the the leader to be obeyed or the baghi this rebellion can be someone who is rebellious towards their parents so this shows us number one that that's a very serious sin it's a serious sin to encourage people to revolt against the leader whether that be with the tongue to speak ill of the leaders and 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 encourage the people to to revolt against them, to protest and, and curse the leaders and things like this. And, of course, going, agout, going min baba ola, or first and foremost, by doing it with the sword, by causing a, a violent uprising. These are major sins in Islam. And likewise, as Imam Bukhari, rahimahullah ta'ala, mentioned this in regards to... Uh, to the punishment of being rebellious or disobedient to one's parents. That this shows that this is a major sin to be avoided. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us and may Allah guide our parents and bless them uh, with Jannah uh, al-Fardos. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. And so what we learn from this hadith is that this hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam affirms for us the serious punishment for those people who are rebellious and those people who cut or sever the ties of kinship. And this punishment is in this, can be in this life, a humiliation in this life, as well as uh, the severe punishment in the hereafter. 
And secondly, we learn from this hadith is that it also shows us the impermissibility of going against the Muslim authority, of rebelling against the leadership and being disobedient to the commands if the commands are commands that are good, that are causing you, calling you to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a major sin. Also, the last thing we, we gain, uh, we also gain that the maintaining the ties of kinship is an obligation in Islam. And to sever the ties of kinship and not maintain those is one of the major sins. So this is something as Muslims we have to be cautious of. And we see this, unfortunately, spreading in the Muslim communities. This uh, disobedience to one's parents. People even hearing stories of people striking their parents and harming their parents physically, mentally, and spiritually. However, we've known this, unfortunately, in the decay of many of our societies, the moral decay, of where people cut the ties of kinships with their own mothers. Or people abuse and curse their own mothers and their own fathers, disrespecting their fathers, striking their own fathers and mothers. This is something is just almost inconceivable. But it shows you how upside down the morals uh, have become and how people's values have decayed. Instead of giving the parents the respect they deserve, even if they are wrong, you don't obey them in the disobedience, but however, you still respect them. You still have to show kindness to them. You still have to give them their rights. They have a right just for bearing you. The mother of the struggle that she went through to carry you for the nine months, or however long that she carried you in her womb. That she has a, a, a very, very serious uh, right over you. So this shows us that we have to be cautious. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us all throughout the Qur'an. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has commanded us all throughout the authentic sunnah to be obedient to one's parents. And this hadith is just one of the many which illustrates for us the seriousness of being disobedient to our parents. And I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.